Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Go Go, go Nagano. Yay. Yay! Exciting. So, where are we now today? Today we are in the Matsumoto City Municipal Museum. Art Gallery, yes. but they don't call it Municipal Art Gallery, they have a different yes. name. They call Matsumoto City Museum of Art. Wow! Fantastic! It's very exciting to be here. So we see a lot of polka dots here. Yeah, so many yes. polka dots, yes. even on the bench. Mm. So. Why do we see so many polka dots? Ah, good question. Because mm -hmm. 95 years ago, yes. so now when we are recording this, mm -hmm. the current year as we are recording this video, it is currently 2024. Mm -hmm. And precisely and exactly 95 years ago, on March 22nd, March 22nd, 1929, right here in this city, a female artist named Kusama Yayoi was born March 22nd, 1929. It's March 26th today, so just four days ago, her birthday. It was her birthday, she became 95 years old. Wow! It's unbelievable. She is unbelievable. such an energetic and active artist, and then she still creates lots of artworks. Yes. Amazing. Shall we introduce uh, yeah. some of her artworks here? Yes, let's right do here? that. Good yes. idea. Mm. Great idea. Excellent idea. So behind us, yeah. we can see her ob objects. Objects? Yes. yes. Giant tulips. Yes, they are tulips. Yeah. Can you see the giant tulips here? Mm. Yes. It's rainy outside today, but inside the museum, there are many uh, tourists coming to see her artworks. Yes. And then we can enjoy uh, experience. We can enjoy experiencing her artworks. Uh, installations are displayed there, but unfortunately, we cannot take pictures or we cannot record the video there. So that's why we are outside today. Yes, we were just inside the art gallery, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, there is no video photography allowed inside. They are very strict. They are quite strict about it. Mm -hmm. yes. But uh, we can see many unique things, even like trash, trash cans. Yes. Yeah. Trash boxes. Yes. They are also all polka dotted. How about the vending machines? Yes, vending machines are also polka dot pattern. Wow. And then we can see mannequins here. Yes. Yes. Mm. So can you introduce a little bit about uh, okay, mm -hmm. so um, like we just said, she was mm -hmm. born right here in Matsumoto, mm -hmm. uh, March 22nd, mm -hmm. 1929. Mm -hmm. um, she uh, studied art in Kyoto, the ancient capital mm -hmm. of Japan. She studied art there in university. Mm -hmm. Then um, in the late 50s, early 60s, mm -hmm. she emigrated to New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, she had been a pen pal of uh, Georgia O'Keeffe mm -hmm. as a teenager. Mm -hmm. When she was a teenager, she had exchanged uh, letters mm -hmm. with Georgia O'Keeffe in America. Mm -hmm. And somehow Georgia O'Keeffe encouraged her to emigrate to the USA. You know, I looked up with her. Yeah, so she did that. Mm -hmm. She uh, emigrated to the USA in the late 50s, early 60s, mm -hmm. and she lived in New York City mm -hmm. during the swinging 60s, mm -hmm. which was a pretty radical time mm -hmm. to be uh, in the avant-garde art movement mm -hmm. in that city. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, she came back to Japan in 1973, and she's been living in Tokyo since that time. Mm -hmm. uh, and she collaborated with many uh, 
brands such as Louis Vuitton. Right, mm. right. Mm. Today she uh, is a female artist of the highest caliber on the global stage. Mm -hmm. So she has uh, parlayed that status into collaborations with A-list European fashion houses, fashion mm -hmm. designers. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to say, when she lived in New York City, she wrote a number of semi-fictional novels, some of which are very dark. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course she did her art, a lot of which has been lost over the decades. But uh, she was a very close friend of Donald Judd. Mm -hmm. So if anybody is interested in 20th century mm -hmm. American uh, art, then they would almost certainly know the name Donald Judd. Mm -hmm. And he was very much a uh, friend and confidant to Kusama Yayoi mm -hmm. when she lived in New York City for more than a decade. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, can I just tell you another story about Kusama Yayoi? Yes, please. Um, please do. Yes. I've been taking the garden lesson for the past uh, several years. And uh, I go to this uh, gardening shop called Nakatsutaya in Matsumoto and uh, her Nakatsutaya. parents yes. Nakatsutaya. And, yes. Yes. and her parents mm. were actually the, doing the gardening business when she was young wow. so wow. I think wow. uh, from my personal opinion is yeah. that they, she mm. was pretty much inspired uh, uh, flowers and plants mm. and then you can see there are so many uh, like uh, nature related it looks very artificial but her artworks are related to plants and animals and so forth uh, yes. and then natural very yes. natural and things. her icon yeah. uh, artwork is yeah. uh, pumpkin yes it is pumpkin. yes it is yes. So yeah I think her uh, inspiration yeah. was from that yeah her parents business as well. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. It's a very good point. That's an excellent observation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'd like to introduce another famous artist from Mamatsumoto. Who is that? Uh, have you it's ever very heard, exciting. Have you ever heard about uh, Takashi Yamazaki? I've only heard about his mm -hmm. name mm -hmm. uh, recently. Mm -hmm. uh, two months ago, yes. I did not know mm -hmm. who Yamazaki director was I mm -hmm. don't I did not know who he was until very recently so he is a visual effects supervisor wow. uh, and wow. he recently won his movie Godzilla won the uh, Academy Award for best visual effects did you say Godzilla Godzilla yes so he directed the most recent Godzilla feature film? Yes, Godzilla Minus One. Wow! And the movie won an Academy Award for visual effects. So that director of Godzilla Minus One, mm -hmm. he was born here in Matsumoto City? Yes. I never knew that. That is so exciting, young me sensei He was wow. born and raised in Matsumoto. Wow. He went school in uh, Matsumoto up to high school wow. and then he went to a vocational school in Tokyo to learn about visual effects wow. and then he produced a uh, lot of successful movies including uh, Battleship Yamato so famous yes. and wow. then um, Stand By Me Draymond wow. uh, that is quite popular among Japanese people Doraemon, and then, the yes. robotic cat. Yes. Robotic cat, Doraemon. Then, yes, this time he won an uh, Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. Wow. And wow. he took some pictures uh, with his favorite uh, movie directors such as Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, and so forth. Wow. So I hope that he can be a world-class uh, visual effects supervisor from now on. I hope so too. Yes. Yeah. And the fact that he has recently won mm -hmm. an Academy Award, mm -hmm. he's literally got an Oscar in Hollywood mm -hmm. that presumably mm -hmm. will uh, be an asset mm -hmm. to his career yes. moving forward. So if you come to Matsumoto, yes, uh, 
Yes. Matsumoto yes. City yeah. Museum of Art is yeah. located just about 10 minutes walk from Matsumoto Station. Ah, I see. And then if you walk uh, uh, 10 more minutes, yes. uh, you can go to his high school called Agata Gaoka High School. Agata yeah. Gaoka High School. Yes. Right here in central yes. Matsumoto. Mm. Yes. Wow. And for those of you who don't know, this municipal art gallery, as I like to call it, mm -hmm. uh, it's on Ekimai Dori. Ekimai Dori would basically be equivalent to Main Street, mm -hmm. USA. Ekimai Dori mm -hmm. is normally considered to be the main thoroughfare mm -hmm. of a Japanese mm -hmm. community. And it, yeah. the facility is open for public, so if you book the room, you can organize your uh, art uh, workshop, and then you can uh, organize some art. For example, you can organize some workshop for children to draw something together with. And then you can see some nice uh, statues outside, too. Statues outside there, too. Mm. Fantastic. And then you know something about the cafe over there? Yes, now we are, now we are standing uh, close to the main entrance mm -hmm. to the art gallery's uh, cafe mm -hmm. slash restaurant. Mm -hmm. It used to be called about 15, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. It was called Santim, mm -hmm. Bistro Santim. Mm -hmm. And before France uh, adopted the Euro, mm -hmm. before the French currency was called Euro. It was called a French franc. Mm -hmm. And centime was a unit smaller than a franc. Mm -hmm. 100 centime used to equate to one franc. That is to say one franc used to be 100 centime. So the name of this bistro slash cafe used to be centime, mm -hmm. uh, which was the old name for uh, a particular French unit of currency. Mm -hmm. But today, as, as you might be able to see, if your eyes are oh, super good. I didn't know good, about that. <laughs> yeah. If your eyes are super good, you can read that red and white sign over there. My eyes are not that good. But if you have good eyes, you can see that says Yum Yum. Yes, your so restaurant the, name yeah. is renamed as Yum Yum. Yeah, the cafe and restaurant is now called Yum Yum. Mm -hmm. And they still specialize in French cuisine, mm -hmm. but they've used the English name Yum Yum. Mm -hmm. And for people watching this YouTube video right now, mm -hmm. who do not know English so uh, fluently, mm -hmm. Yum Yum is a children's phrase. Mm -hmm. It's a children's phrase for food which is delicious. I see. Yes. Thank you so much. So it's raining, it's spring here in Japan, but actually it's really cold. <laughs> it's raining and cold in late March. We are both yeah. from the cold area. You yeah. are born in Canada. Yeah, and I, I was also born in a cold area in Nagano Prefecture. But yeah, uh, yeah. before starting uh, before starting recording, yeah. we talked that we don't want to stay outside because <laughs> it's uh, freezing cold. We don't want to freeze ourselves <laughs> half to death today yeah. out here in the open air. Yeah. Uh, just inside the re uh, museum, yeah. you can enjoy shopping uh, you can see some of the good souvenirs uh, designed uh, that uh, display some of the artworks by Samaya Yoi and some famous artists inside and outside Japan so um, there are some visitors so I can just quickly show yes this is a souvenir show yes. you can come here yes. mm. this reminds me of a famous uh, art world documentary film from a few years ago called Exit Through the Gift Shop. Mm -hmm. I just love that phrase. Exit Through the Gift Shop. What does it mean? Uh, it means if you go to see an art exhibit mm -hmm. by the British graffiti artist Banksy, ah, then uh, you know, normally after the exhibit, all the exits, mm -hmm. all the ways out of the yes. exhibition hall uh, pass through 
uh, a retail mm. souvenir but, stand. Mm. So they're trying to increase retail sales. Uh, actually, Kusamaya yeah. Yo is, is really successful in merchandising her artwork. So uh, many artists around the world would like to collaborate with her, like creating bags, clothes, and stationaries and so forth. So she's been very really successful, not only because of her adverts, but also uh, it's, um, what do you say? Um, very flexible, easy to adapt to uh, commodify. Yeah, uh, she's, the, she's very good at monetizing, monetizing, monetizing her brand. Mm -hmm. Her and her management team are masters mm -hmm. of monetizing her brand. Mm -hmm. And as you and I were talking about a minute ago, mm -hmm. currently in the fine art market mm -hmm. globally, mm -hmm. Kusama Yayoi is currently mm -hmm. the world's mm -hmm. number one best-selling living, living female artist mm -hmm. in terms of Sotheby's and Christie's fine art auctions. And yeah. what is great about Samaya is that it's that that she loves to collaborate with uh, famous artists. For example, also if you come to Matsumoto, you can see uh, polka dot wrapped uh, buses going around Matsumoto. Public so, bus. Yes. Public so bus. she collaborated with her hometown Matsumoto as well. Yeah. So she is very flexible. She is uh, such an uh, um, successful artist. But she is really, she shows very friendly attitude toward the people, and then she loves to uh, enhance uh, art uh, movement around the world. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, and when we see her interviewed nowadays, mm -hmm. she often wears a wig, which could uh, be one of several mm. different colors green, navy blue, shocking pink, mm -hmm. etc. She always wears a wig. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently, uh, the last several years, when she grants interviews, she's always in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is probably not surprising given that she is currently 95 years old as of the year. 2024. Yes, we are in our 50s and then after spending few years doing our work, we feel so exhausted. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine that 95 yeah. year old lady yeah. always uh, come up with some creative artworks and then go around the world and meet a lot of people and then try to publicize what she does and then uh, she provide very peaceful atmosphere with this, this polka dotted design. Mm. So that's all about our uh, YouTube clip today. Yes, so let me remind all of our thousands and thousands of viewers, yes. our tens of thousands of viewers, mm -hmm. please subscribe, mm -hmm. please subscribe to Go Go Nagano, Go Go Nagano. Please subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. If yeah. you like it, please uh, press the like button and then subscri subscribe to our channel. Yes, and one final comment, one parting comment. Many people don't know this, but in the 1990s, uh, late 90s, an American rock band, alternative rock band, mm -hmm. called Superchunk. They recorded a song in honor of Yayoi Kusama. Uh, the American band Superchunk mm -hmm. have recorded a song mm -hmm. in honor of Yayoi Kusama. Mm -hmm. And if you search online, mm -hmm. I'm sure you could find it. Okay, yeah. thank you for one yeah. additional information. Yeah. So that's all from yeah. us today. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sayonara. 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 Yay.